Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy on location at a beautiful Billings, Montana park called Riverfront Park. It's an amazing place. And we're inside of what's called the Inner Pond, which is a pond kind of in the woods here, looking at some different wildlife. And we come, came across a couple different things. And one I want to introduce you to that I'm sure you've seen before is that blackbird that you see back there. And listen to them. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. They have a really cool call that you'll hear in the summertime. I love it. It actually takes me back to my childhood when I used to do a lot of hiking with my parents. I love that sound. And what's so cool about these guys is that they're beautiful. They're called red-winged blackbirds because they literally have red on their wing, and that's how you can tell the male. Now, the female isn't quite that beautiful, no offense to the ladies out there, but the females are more of a kind of brown color with some little bit of a molted pattern. Reason being is they have to be camouflaged in with the nest. So when she sits on the nest, it camouflages her in. So she doesn't get to be quite as beautiful as the boy. However, being beautiful has its problems. You see, because you're beautiful, you got to try to find a female that you like, and the more beautiful you are, the easier it is to get a female when you're a blackbird. So it's got its ups and downs. Now, the thing is, is those boy blackbirds, they are busy. They can have upwards of 15 different girlfriends. Holy, could you imagine? Holy, too much. And so that's what's going on is he's got different females all around. He's going around checking them all. Now, red-winged blackbirds love to live in a place just like this, a marshland, a little bit of water around, a lot of these cattails they can get inside of and what they do is they're shrub nesters so they nest kind of down inside of these things low down protects them from predators the other cool thing about them is that they're ground foragers that's a big word what that means is they like to go into the grass and they eat on the ground a lot of bugs tends to be their main diet got a really cool beak that can actually jab into these insects and it gives them a pretty tasty meal but when you're out and about look for these guys they're the one of the most abundant birds in the world in fact in the winter time sometimes you can see flocks of these guys flying and there can be several million birds in these flocks and what they do is they do this incredible flight pattern in the sky it looks really weird to see them in conjunction with other blackbirds and starlings and things like that but this time of year the summertime look for them they're everywhere there's an estimated 194 to 100 to 200 200 million blackbirds, red and blackbirds in this country. So you got a good chance of seeing them. Get those binoculars out and do some searching. And right now I hear a bullfrog behind me. Such a cool place to come and see all this wildlife. So until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy here at Riverfront Park in Billings. Come on out, visit it. And if not, come on out to the zoo and see me there. Until next time, take care.